What's up, locals? I'm Ryan, and this is Local Disc Golf. Today, we get our hands on the brand new Rainmaker from Discmania's Creator Series. When it comes to putters, us locals know it's all about feel. Shout out to Apollo Disc Golf. Dude did a nice review on this disc with a great visual comparison to the P2, both new and old. So if you're curious how it compares to a P2, I'll leave a link down in the description. All right, let's start by looking at the shape of this brand new putter. It's definitely a little bit more shallow, as Eagle says in his promotional video, uh, than a traditional P2. It's not a massive difference, but there is a difference there. I would say it is still slightly deeper than a Luna, uh, which is really my wheelhouse right now. And the only other issue I have with the shape is the bottom edge on this disc. Um, not sharp, but it's, it's, it is quite an edge there. And um, where I feel like the Luna is a bit more of a blunt edge, it's just, I don't know, I just find it slightly more comfortable. Now, as for the type of plastic, this is the uh, Flex 3 Glow D-Line plastic. Uh, quite firm, quite tacky. You're gonna hear everyone in these reviews saying this, uh, but it's true, it does have a nice feel to it. Now, if you like a tackier putter, then you're gonna probably love the feeling of this disc. All right, let's be real. How good is this stamp? The silver foil is awesome and it has these awesome sort of rainbow reflections off of that silver foil. I'm about the feel and about the flight of a disc, especially a putter, but it certainly doesn't hurt how good this stamp is. I play a lot of Glow. In fact, I've got a brand new series of videos coming called Glow the Sport, where I'll be reviewing and comparing the best Glow discs in the sport. So if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when that first episode drops. Here's what I'll say. I throw Glow Lunas, not because they glow, I just really like the plastic. But as you'll see here, the glow is brighter and lasts much, much longer. Here it is compared to my Glow Envy. And as you can see, the Envy, as with MVP's uh, Eclipse 2.0, it is just simply the brightest in the sport. But... For a glow putter, which you don't really need to glow that bright or for that long, uh, I think it's more than sufficient and it is a much better glow than these glow lunas. I don't even know how they can call it a glow luna. The bottom edge of this putter um, is just sort of slightly rounded. It's I, I can't call it fully rounded. It's just a soft edge, whereas this is a fairly crisp edge. Now this could be just because they're new or that might be the grip or the feel that they're going for. Take me a bit of time to get used to this um, putter, but it is definitely, it's a nice feel in the hand, um, and I can see a lot of people switching over to these. So having a look at putting here, you know, putting is one of those things that, uh, you know, the more we do it, the more comfortable we get with a putter. So, you know, it's hard to make a quick judgment uh, it definitely feels different to my Luna, as I've said already. Um, but in terms of a disc like this, you know, I'm thinking about feel, I'm thinking about release, and I'm thinking about flight. Uh, I loved the flight of this disc, uh, and I found the release really clean. It's a nice depth where I find it's nice and easy to come out. If you prefer a shallower putter, you know, like a Logic, this might be too deep for you, although I believe it is slightly shallower uh, than a P2. So uh, you'll have to kind of make your own decision uh, based on that. Tried a couple of little floating putts here as well. Um, and you know, ultimately, uh, the disc feels really good as a putter. I, I you know, really did like it. My personal preference, and as I say, what I'm used to is uh, something that's maybe not so tacky. And again, as I mentioned before, it doesn't have that sort of sharper edge. Here we get a look at uh, me trying this disc out as a thrower. And uh, I have to say, I really like this disc as a thrower. Um, you know, flew very straight. Definitely, you know, the numbers with that 0.5 fade at the end, I think that's pretty accurate. Um, you know, if I put a little extra into it, I was able to turn it over. 
Uh, this was just sort of a straight flyer, a standing still kind of a shot, and it started to turn over just a little bit with a late fade. Uh, looking at this one here, same thing, nice and low, very straight, pushed out, and just started to turn over a little bit and actually ended up landing very straight. And then this last one here, just kind of put it up on a nice hyzer and it really carried that line more than I even thought it was going to. So um, there's really nice versatility to this disc. And while I will say that I um, quite enjoyed putting with it, um, I really enjoyed throwing it um, more than I thought I would, given the fact that I think that this disc will be, you know, primarily a putting putter first and foremost. Um, I, I didn't get uh, it recorded, but I even put it out on a few forehands, and it was actually, I quite enjoyed um, that disc on a forehand, just the shape of that disc, I just felt like it felt really good. I'm not going to bomb a forehand with it, um, the stability's not there for it, but a little approach, sort of like a nice little touchy shot, uh, quite liked the feel of that as well. So, uh, wrapping up, you know, this is a disc, as with any putter, it definitely takes some time to figure out if this is a disc that you'd be willing to switch your putter for or even your throwing putter for. Uh, there's great elements to this disc. The glow is good. The tackiness of the disc is good. I think the feel and the shape is good. Uh, I think they've got a, I think they've hit it out of the park with this disc. I really do. I think they're going to have a lot of success with it and I'm keen to see, um, you know, in the coming weeks. Uh, where my review goes as I continue to throw it and put it up against some of the other discs in my bag. For us here at Local Disc Golf, celebrating the local communities that make this sport so great, my name is Ryan, this is Local, we are local.